Hi, I'm Amanda, and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making French onion soup. A wise Parisian once told me that French onion soup originated in brasseries, and what it started as was a cure for when gentlemen had been out a little too late at the pubs. Now we all know what it's like to feel tired and need a little extra comfort in our lives, so today we're going to be making some French onion soup. To get things started, we're going to be caramelizing our onions. So what I like to use for French onion soup is a very large, heavy bottom pot. And this just makes sure that the heat stays quite even and you're not going to have any burning of the onions. So we're going to be adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to the bottom of our really large pot. And we're going to be setting it over low heat because we're going to be caramelizing the onions. So to kick it off with the onions, we're just going to remove both of the knobby ends. Make sure you're using a sharp knife. And then we're going to carefully slice down and remove the outer layer of the onion. And then our onion just gets cut in half. And then we're going to slice it crosswise, but what we want to make sure is that they're relatively thin and even because we want them to all cook at the same time. So now we have to get our garlic done. We're just going to do a nice fine mince. Just give it a good smash. It helps take the peel off. And we're just going to start running our knife through it until it's a nice fine mince. After we're done this, we're going to be moving over to the stove and we're going to start adding everything to our caramelized onions. And I'm going to be walking everyone through that. Now that our olive oil is heated, we're going to be adding all of our onions to the pot. It's going to look like a lot, but they're going to start cooking down nice and slowly over low to medium heat. We don't want them to brown when we're trying to caramelize them. This is going to take about 20 to 25 minutes. Once they get nice and soft and translucent, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of brown sugar. This is going to sweeten them up and make sure that they get a nice deep color. Once we've got that, we're going to push them to the side, add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're going to let it melt, get nice and frothy, and then we're going to be adding two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now what this does is it helps to thicken up our soup, so we're going to start to stir it, and as we stir the flour into the butter, it's going to start to brown and toast, and that's going to get rid of any raw flavor that we have left over. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stir it all together, combine it with our onions, stir for probably about a minute or so just to make sure that it's all nicely combined. Then we're adding half a cup of dry white wine and we're going to cook that until the white wine has almost evaporated. Then we're going to be adding our thyme and one bay leaf. We're going to be adding four drops of Worcestershire sauce. Next we're going to be seasoning it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. To that we're then going to be adding six cups of reduced sodium beef stock. Now it's very important to use reduced sodium beef stock because we don't want to have too high of a sodium content. We want to control that with seasoning our own dish. We're adding our garlic, and then we're going to bring our entire mixture up to a boil and back down to a simmer. And we're going to be simmering our mixture for about 20 minutes until all of the ingredients are fully combined. Now, French onion soup would not be complete without our baguette and our cheese. French onion soup typically requires a Gruyere cheese. We're changing it up a little bit. Gruyere can be pretty expensive, and there's plenty of other alternatives. In this instance, we're actually going to be using mozzarella cheese because you actually get the similar melty stringiness that we're all used to with the Gruyere flavorings. Now, we're actually using 100% Canadian cheese here, and you can tell that because they've got the little stamp. Always nice to support the local produce, and it does help with the price point as well. So we have our cheese. I've actually bought pre-sliced ones, which means you don't have to worry about shredding and creating an extra mess, and you only have the slices. So if you have leftovers, they're great in a sandwich. Now, for our bread, we have just a traditional French baguette, and we're going to be cutting that on a diagonal so it covers the top of our bowl so we have something to set our cheese on. And we're going to be cutting two slices per bowl. We have two bowls here, four slices. You want to make sure you let the soup sit a little bit because it can be a little bit hot. So we are going to top this off with our bread slices, and then all that's left is tossing on our piece of cheese. Now, we've got our broiler preheated to high, and we're going to set up our next bowl, and then we're going to pop both of them on a baking sheet underneath the broiler. They're going to broil for about two minutes till our cheese is soft, melty, bubbly, and golden. All right, our French onion soup is comfort in a bowl, and it's ready for tasting, so I'm really excited. We've got the gooey cheesiness, we've got our bread, our onions, to get a good bite here with a little bit of everything. Oh, look at that. 
Ooh, it's hot. Mm. That is so good. The mozzarella is melty, stringy, cheesy. It combines well and adds to the flavors that we're already getting from our rich, beefy broth and sweet onions. Total comfort classic. Definitely one to try at home. Thanks so much for joining us today. Make sure to check out this, all of our other episodes, especially our beef stew coming out in two weeks at thehotplate.net and all of our updates at facebook.com slash thehotplate.